So there's black men saying that if he were black, she wouldn't be with him. That's not true. If he looked like that. That's not true. I don't think it's true either. No, because if you look at her past history of dating, I don't think it's true. Well, she's dated black men and they didn't yeah. wife her up. Exactly. They never wiped her up. Exactly. And he came along and he wiped her up. Exactly. Like, and he's cherishing her. Exactly. So Hi guys, so before we get into today's video, I just want to take time to thank my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you for subscribing to my channel and supporting me. Um, if you are new here, hi, how are you? Please consider subscribing. Please click that notification bell so that you are alerted every time I post a new video. But thank you, thank you. Now let's get into this video. So Danny. Hi. Hello. I've got my little, I've got my co-host with me today, you guys. Of course. My, my, one of my besties, Danny. Um, but we're going to be talking about a lot of different topics today. Okay? okay. Before we get into the main topic, we're going to talk about, we have to talk about Nick Cannon. Why is he having so many children? Oh my gosh. I said the same thing about Nick Cannon. He's on oh. his eighth, is it eight number eight? Yeah, I thought it was six. No, because, okay, let's, okay. So he's got two with Mariah, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then he's got two with Brittany Bell. Mm -hmm. And then... He's got two with this DJ. That's six. That's six. Seven. So and he has another one on the way. Oh yeah, his new girlfriend. She's pregnant with the seventh baby. Yes. So he has seven children. Oh and so God. I saw a video explaining. You know, he did an interview and he explained why he's having so many kids, and it's because, you know, he he's sick. Apparently, you know, apparently he has lupus. I think. Yeah, and he has. It's the fourth child in less than a year, though. Yeah. That's kind of disgusting. Well, he's saying that, you know, he doesn't know how much longer he's going to live. But that's not a reason to pop out so many different children. Like, if you're, you know, if you're going to... I'm not saying that he will. But if, you know, if, if that's your reason for having kids, wouldn't you not want to leave all these kids and you're going to die? Like, I just don't understand his reasoning. For me, it becomes disgusting. And I'm not yeah. trying to be funny because you have unprotected sex with all these women overlapping each other. Yeah. That's the thing. These pregnancies are overlapping each other. And yeah. They always say women lie, men lie, but the numbers don't lie. Yeah. And, and it's erratic behavior to me. It is. It's and erratic woman, behavior. Pregnancy is an emotional time. It's a yes. vulnerable time. Yeah. So can you imagine you're pregnant at the same time as another woman is pregnant by him and you realize that. Yeah. And then you see that, oh my gosh, this man who I've shared my body and my womb with is also out here impregnating other women. Yeah. Now, if you're okay and you knew that, that's fine, but pregnancy is an emotional These women time. don't care though, apparently. Apparently not, you know? but it's, but what about your children? How they want to feel? Yeah. That's the thing. The children are really the ones who should, we should be questioning. I wonder how Mariah feels about this. Mariah didn't sign up for this. She just seems like she's too, like... Polished. Yeah. And, and Mariah is Mariah. Unlike these other women, she doesn't need Nick Cannon for anything. She's Mariah freaking Carey, okay? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, her kids will be taken care of whether he's there or not. Regardless or not. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but it's the true. other women, their financial situations aren't the same as her. It's not the same. Yeah. Well, I mean, we and, do, we technically we don't know that and, for sure. No, but. they ain't got Mariah. Even if they <laughs> no, don't no, no, you're, you're, right you're, you're right about that. You're right about that. Right, right, right. And even then, in the bigger snippet of things, Mariah Carey was his wife. Yeah. So she let's was, be honest. He if Nick Cannon never marries again, and something happens to him, he said he's not going to get married again. He said that that situation, like him getting married to her, like tarnished his chances of getting married in the future. Because I, you know. Oh. I know. But think about this. Let's say they need social security or certain things. Mariah Carey is the only one who's eligible for any type of benefits <laughs> or anything. Because she was his wife. That's true. Unless he wills it to the other people. But she was yeah. his wife. And then yeah. she has the first two children by him. So honestly, yeah. I feel bad for the children and all this. That's what my So this is a case. Yeah, that's true. This is a case of because you can, you shouldn't. Because... You know, he has money, mm -hmm. and so he's just doing it, you know, getting these women pregnant. But it's kind of like, no, there's no way you can be a quality father mm -hmm. to all of these children. In these different households. In these different households. And what type of legacy are you leaving behind? That's the bigger picture. Yeah. Because 
we've seen it in history. When men have a lot of kings had women wives and concubines and mistress and everything in between. And oh, when they died, take they, us there today, you guys. <laughs> and when they when they died, their legacy was left in peril. Mm-hmm. Like who wants to leave something that's left in upheaval and upward people fighting mm-hmm. to decide what's what? Yeah. You don't want that. Yeah. You want your children to love each other and, and be peaceful. Absolutely. And as a person who is not a product of that, my parents are married, but my father after he and my mother divorced. He did the same thing that Candy did. He has other children. Oh. And we don't have close relationships to this day. It's nothing like the relationships that I have with my sister said with my mother. It's nothing like that with my siblings. And they are all out of order and all out of whack. So it the thing is you want not only do you want to leave a lineage and a legacy, you want your children to have a close relationship and a bond with each other. Right, right. And they have different mothers and they're raised differently and taught differently. Do you think Mariah is gonna take her kids to go visit I doubt it. Mar- <laughs> Mariah Carey, no, not while they're young. <laughs> exactly, and it's nothing against Mariah Carey, but she's kind of. I'm better than you. She has had that. She does. She does. And so she probably said it like, "I was married to him. You baby mamas. I don't know what you do with your kids, but I'm not doing that with mine." I can see her doing I that. I can see her doing that, and that. that's not right it's because they are still human. They're still, yeah, they're. I mean, they're all siblings. And yeah, and they're all yeah. siblings. But in her defense, it's like I don't know these people. I don't know what their lifestyle is. That I'm not bringing my kids to your mess. That's true. So baby I'm, mama try. Exactly. So I'm yeah. protecting my children. I don't know if I could like I I don't I could not date a man with so many different children. I just couldn't. By so many different women. By so many different I mean yeah, by so many different women. Yeah. It's one thing you, you know? were married, you had seven children by your wife. It's like okay, that's a lot of children. That's a, yeah, that's, that's still still different because that's just it's one different. woman. It's yeah. one woman. But if you tell me you have seven children, it's four or five different women, I'm like, oh, And it's all those energies. Yeah. Mixed you know, it's soul just, ties. Mm. Absolutely. So dang, I just Nick, please stop. Like, yeah. Let this be it. Seven? Mm. Is he trying to get to a certain number, Danny? I think I he know. may be trying to get to a certain number. Maybe at ten he'll stop. He's on number seven. Mm. <laughs> but that's the thing is, this would be his seventh child, his fourth child within a year. Think about how disgusting it is that he didn't do a surrogate. This wasn't done via in vitro. This, <laughs> this was done the old fashioned way. That's what I'm saying. So you think about his fourth child within a year. Yeah. Think about how disgusting that's, it is. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's erratic. It's erratic behavior. What he's doing. No. That's that, that 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 you're like I, yeah. It just. You know, and then these men are, you know, they'd be out here talking about women, single mothers, and all this kind of stuff. But when you have a man who's creating the single mother. But wait a minute, but they, they bash Future, right, for doing the same thing. Future and Nick Cannon take Girl, they the take off for Future. A lot of men take off for him. A lot of, but a lot of people take, talk. But a lot of people do talk, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. but they're not saying that much about Nick Cannon, but uh, they really want the same. Future just a little bit dirtier with it. He's a rapper, so, you know, you get a bad connotation with that automatically. Yeah, you do. But yeah. but they're doing the same thing. Mm-hmm. It's like people in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing. Absolutely. If it's disgusting for one and wrong for one, it's wrong for all. It's wrong for all. all. Absolutely. Girl. Mm. Oh, Nick, please stop. But anyway, <laughs> our mm. next topic. Mm. So the next topic I want to talk about, you guys, is Megan the Stallion. And the baby. Their feud that they're few that's been going on between them. So, Danny, what do you think about... The baby working with Tory Lanez and Megan kind of getting upset. I think Megan Thee Stallion has to understand that in this industry, there are very few people that are friends. A lot of times it's business. Yep. And a lot of people are not friends. Yeah. They're industry friends, mm-hmm. just like professional friends, just like at work. But she knows that though, because she came out. And she, they, the internet, drug up like an old interview of her saying that because, you know, it's no knowledge that Nicki Minaj and Cardi B don't get a, don't get along, right? Mm-hmm. And she did a song with Cardi. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like the same thing. Yeah, but the kind of di- the difference is though that this was domestic violence involved, and nobody shot anyone. That's true. Facts. And so when you start to bring life yeah, that's a good into point. it, yeah. and then someone shooting someone domestic violence, because let's say this: if Tory Lane shot Cardi, Cardi, Cardi uh, what's her name, Kylie Jenner, then he'd have been canceled. Yeah, that's the true. whole world would blew up. She's a white woman. That's true. But he shot Megan Thee Stallion, who's a black woman. Yeah, people let's protect him, and he's okay. Mm-hmm. So that is a bigger issue at play here. Oh yeah. So I understand where she's coming from because think about when Chris Brown did that to Rihanna. 
his career was over for a long, long yeah, time. Nice. And he still has not, he'll never be the Chris Brown that he was before that. Uh, no, he's no, come back though. No, he's come back, yeah. but not to, if you think about the, the grace of God. <laughs> no, yeah, but if you think about all the things that have happened to him, think about he had movie deals. Yeah. He had, he had, he was a spearmint kid, did deals with bubble like gum, and yeah. he had all these, um, what do you call them? Um, it's on the tip of my tongue. Forgive me. You must edit this out. <laughs> he had all these sponsors. Okay. He had all these people sponsor him before and they were after him. Yeah. But after that, his image has never been the same. He's yeah. worked hard to bring it back. But oh, yeah. But still was never restored to what it fully could have been. Oh, yeah. Right. And so, Tory Lanez, yes, he's tarnished. Mm -hmm. But had it been a white woman, he'd been completely canceled. Oh, yeah. And so, so I think yeah. that's what Megan Thee Stallion is saying. That, yeah, she collabed with... Cardi B as well as Nicki Minaj, but these are two women that you didn't fault, but really it was Cardi B trying to fight Nicki Minaj, mm -hmm. but it wasn't a domestic violence Right, issue. it wasn't that kind of no, issue. No, it wasn't. Right. This is a man who not only, he didn't just hit her, he shot her. Right. So, But I guess the baby is saying he really doesn't know what happened, and he, it, at the end of the day, it's, it's just business. He is saying it's business, but a lot of times people don't realize that saying it's just business. Yeah. But when do you bring integrity into it? Why do you think because she got so much? But this, if Tory Lanez shot the baby's mother, when he said it's just business, if Tory Lanez wants to do a collab, but well, why do you think business? Megan got so hurt over this? Because it wasn't like they were like true friend. I mean, but that's the thing we don't she, know what happened behind the scenes. That's true. And then they, they collabed in more than one song. That's true. So they probably were really cool. And she probably thought they were really friends. Yeah. Megan Thee Stallion is new in the game. That's true. But I think Jay Z said it best: "There's no friends in the game, enemies turn all the same." Mm -hmm. So with that being said, but he's been in the game how long? You yeah. know, and, and people get the two confused. A lot of people have said that in Hollywood. When people are up, they're up. Mm -hmm. And everyone's riding for you. But when you're down, everyone disappears. Because they, they have a career to look out there as well. Yeah, facts. And so... Do you think she... So you think she has a valid reason to be upset with I her? think she has a valid reason to be upset, but she needs to learn to define friendships better. Okay. And learn to choose, like, who's really her friend versus who's do you think that? Friend. Do you think that DaBaby is kind of disrespecting her by... I think this way. Friendships I've learned, you have to clarify and define just like anything else. Mm -hmm. Like how you and I spoke earlier about loyalty. Yeah. When we're friends, certain boundaries and lines we understand. So it's kind of like what's said is understood and what's understood doesn't need to be said. Right. So I don't think they ever really defined what that is. Mm -hmm. And I think she understood it as one thing that was never said. And so for yeah. him, it was never understood. Oh, okay, I got you. So it was two sense. different people. They have two different definitions of friendship yeah. and where their friendship was. Oh, I hate that. But you know, men think so differently than women, though. You know what I'm saying? But if, it was, if Tory Lane shot the baby's mom, you feel that way? That's yeah, true, <laughs> true. But, but see, men don't think like that, though. Or, men or men don't shot, think about it. He like shot that. Danny Lee, who's he dating? Would he feel that way? They're saying she's pregnant too. Do you think she's pregnant by him? I would be surprised. That'd be what third child for him? Yeah, it'd be a third child for him because he just had a baby, right? <sighs> Disgusting. Don't, don't even. His red bone. <laughs> oh no, his yellow bone. <laughs> anyway, you guys, so we're going to get into the next topic. So, and the very last topic. So, I want to talk about dun, 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 Serena Williams and her hubby. What's, her, what's his name? Alexis? Mm -hmm. So, there is a picture that floated around, I think like last week or two weeks ago or something like that, of him on the beach. Looking a hot mess. Now, he was looking a hot mess. But that's her, like, Serena loves him. That's her husband. But, you know, they were going in on Serena, like, oh, she married this white man, and da 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 da. You know, and they, and some men, some black men feel like, you know, she didn't come up because he looks like that. But he's a millionaire. Like, who cares? You know, Danny? Mm hmm. What do you think? <laughs> I think that love is. Kind. What does the Bible say about it? It's non-judgmental. It's patient. Yeah. It's a lot of things, and so a lot of it isn't physical. It doesn't talk about physical. A lot of it's emotional and things beneath the surface. So if this man truly loves and cherishes her and makes her feel like the best woman in the world, yeah, and he's faithful and he's yeah. loyal. Mm -hmm. and that's all that matters. People can look at the surface all day long, but that's them looking above it. They never see what they see because they can't see below the the, the superficialness, and yeah. it's their loss. Well. So there's black men saying that if he were black, she wouldn't be with him. That's not true. If he looked like that. That's not true. I don't think it's true either. No, because if you look at her past history of dating, I don't think that's true. Well, she's dated black men and they didn't yeah. wife her up. Exactly. They never wiped her up. Exactly. And he came along and he wiped her up. Exactly. Like, and he's cherishing her. Exactly. So, so what's, the pro like, what's the problem? I think people are just jealous and they look for anything because guess, yeah. guess what? I look at looks as an outfit. 
Yeah. They're your clothing. That's how I look at your looks. Because they all they you change clothing every day, right? So your looks is they're constantly changing every day. Well you can physically see it. Yeah, not, I mean everybody's age. allowed to have an off day or an off season. But not even that. Yeah. As we age, your looks change. Yeah. Just like as you age your taste for men and women. Dishes. Not for just men, women. For men and women. Yeah. And so and with men their testosterone levels drop. Oh. You know, sexually they go through things <laughs> way, way. Yes. We age we we age like wine, men age like milk. That's me honest. <laughs> But I that, think everybody's different, you know, it's yeah. individual. Right? So with yeah. that being said, you know our libido is women when we get older it increases, for men it decreases. Yeah. So with that <laughs> With some women, I'm not gonna say all. Yeah. But with that yeah. being but you know, usually scientifically Scientifically. Yeah. She, and but I, there's medication and you know, yeah. yeah, if yeah. women is taking yeah. medication and different things like that, it could affect your libido. Yeah. yeah. So I think that if a man truly loves you and he's faithful to you and you all have children together and the way he makes you feel like no other, like you the baddest chick and you walk on that court, she swings that tennis racket like no other. And it seems like he does it for her. Exactly. You so know, it seems like he is. really supports her. I think he came out and said, what did he say? Um, he came out and said something like, Sh- she's his queen or something. I don't, he came out and said, I can't remember what it was, but he was just praising her. Yeah, he was praising his woman, you know. And I think that people on the outside looking in would never understand what's really in. Yeah, and that's true. So that's true. I think that's beautiful, and they can look all day long. They can judge, and I would be like, I mean, but you know, we don't know what's actually going on in their are. relationship. You know, they could be having a, t- a horrible marriage, but at the end of the day, he made her his wife, mm-hmm. and he he decided to make that commitment to her mm-hmm. and try it out. Mm-hmm. And, and have a child with her as well when nobody else did. Exactly. She dated Drake. She did a common. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure she dated some other, you know, mm-hmm. but that's so who we know mm-hmm. that's, you know, that she dated. Exactly. And they didn't wife her up, and he did, so that's so, the point. <laughs> exactly. So I will say, Serena, keep winning, keep praying. Keep, keep winning. winning. Who cares? No matter how much they beat her down, they talk about she's bleaching her skin. Exactly. And all this. True. And she's just laughing to the bank. Exactly. But most people are <laughs> and Al- Alexis is too. <laughs> exactly. And most people aren't happy with themselves. They don't have anything else going on. Because to be in that involved in someone else's life, yeah. to talk about someone else's skin, and et cetera, et cetera, please get a life. <laughs> like, what do you have going on as to why you had that much time to even care? Exactly. So. You know, I'm all about the interracial relationships anyway. For, exactly. for men, black women, black uh, men and black women, so on both sides. Mm-hmm. But anyway, you guys, that's all we have for you today. Danny, thank you for joining in on thank my girl channel. Thank you for beautiful. Thank you. And so you look so beautiful. Look at Brandy. She looks so beautiful. Thank Woo! you, guys. Please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hi, guys. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. It lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm creating for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.